Well, I think it's unique in a, a few different ways. First, it's unique because I went and took photos of what was happening right after the towers collapsed in 9-11, um, but a few days passed when they collapsed and had a time to watch the news media and see what the media wasn't showing about New York. So when I went down to New York to take photos, I ended up taking very different photos than what other people were, were shooting. Um, and I think a lot of what's different about it is that I took pictures of things that were small and quiet and intimate moments of people's reaction to the disaster and um, sort of very still stuff. Because the rest of the media was sort of jangling all the time and showing all sorts of crazy action of towers collapsing over and over again. Um, so that's one way it's unique. Another way it's unique is that it's not just photography, it's really a, a site-specific installation that changes in every venue that it goes to. Um, and uh, it's first went up 14 years ago, so it's had a lot of different, different shows. Um, and uh, part of that is that we have the wall of the missing poster and then the shrine that's downstairs, which is modeled after the shrines that you saw all over New York. Um, and then a third sort of installational element, which is really different, is this right here. Um, which is um, a sculptural element, but then on top, um, dust actually collected um, in a place called Chelsea Jean Shop, which was right across the street from um, uh, Ground Zero. And the windows blew in, the whole place filled with dust, and I collected the dust. I'm going to put it here, and then I have um, macro photography from different locations in New York, which I also don't think anybody else has done. So this rather abstract picture is dust on hangers in the jean shop. 